Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Sky Family. We are at a very, very special place today. It's called the Air Classics Museum here in Sugar Grove. And I don't know if you can see it, you probably want from here, but uh, the airport in Sugar Grove is right over there. And uh, we were driving by hoping to just get uh, a little bit of uh, footage from the outside uh, of this great museum and, and maybe, you know, come back when they're open. And well, guess what? Hank, the uh, curator is allowing us uh, today to just come in here and take a little bit of video. It's empty, no one's here, so we're okay. So come and follow me and um, it will be open in June, they hope. So if you're in Sugar Grove or anywhere nearby, do make sure you stop by the museum. It's absolutely fantastic. They got some great planes over here and they got a whole bunch more stuff back there that's amazing. But anyway, just follow me. And I got Hannah with me and she's being obnoxious. We couldn't leave her in the car, there she is. And uh, so we'll see. Let's go take a look at these great planes. Come on, let's go. A brand new start. Okay, now my specialty is the private airplanes, but not these historical ones. So I'm going to introduce you to my husband, David, who is a better cameraman than I am. Uh, you know, when I have a camera, it kind of jiggles about all the time. Not very good, I gotta work on that. But anyway, let me introduce my husband and we can wish him a happy anniversary. It's our, what, how many years now? 27, 28 years. almost 28 years together and my my husband my love and my partner in crime so say hi david hello no, come on, come on. <laughs> say hello hi so there we go all right so he's going to tell us i'm going to hold the camera and let's see what happens but he's going to tell us a little bit about these um these airplanes. right now here we're going to um, start with one of the things that they've got here it's a huey one of the heavy, heavy used, uh, heavily used rather in Vietnam. Uh, cousin of mine who just passed away a couple weeks ago flew this, uh, did two tours in Nam as a helicopter pilot on the Huey. So, let me take Hannah and you can take the camera. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go around here. I'm not, don't worry about it. So, they've had several pilots and gunners come out here. Uh, in regards to looking at the aircraft, sometimes matching the tail number, if anybody knows that, that would be a good thing to um, identify. We've, we've known the stories where the pilots and crew members have said that's the bird that I flew or I was in. So that's really what we're looking at here. Get into the World War II stuff here. Thing could take a beating. 
So what I'm going to do is go around these aircraft. I'm going to get the numbers. And if anybody has any information or knows maybe of the crew or pilot of these particular aircraft, that would be fun to find out. We'll actually kind of make it a challenge for you. See how it works. Again, the T-39. I'm going to get around, go ahead, and I'm going to get the tail numbers. very small museum it's not a huge museum but it's, it's just beautiful and for those of us who love aviation and appreciate these planes it's just absolutely fantastic um, my company Echo Romeo Aviation is of course an aviation company and we've committed to making a monthly donation to the museum uh, just because we love aviation we appreciate so much what they're doing um, those of you who feel inclined to go to the Air Classics um, you see on website uh, they do accept donations here uh, and in their website and uh, yeah I would urge you those of you who, who have uh, aviation companies or, or pilots or love aviation like we do make a small donation it doesn't have to be monthly it doesn't have to be huge it's just a little bit to help these guys maintain these these great airplanes and maybe expand and just have a place where we can all come in here and have lots and lots of fun um, so yeah I urge you to do that um, I hope you're enjoying this. I'm having a good time. Go, David. So here we are. I think I've got it. F-86, I could be wrong. Please correct me if I am. Sorry for the mistake. But again, I'm getting the tail numbers. And if anybody's been part of this, or knows anybody that may have been a part of this aircraft or any of these aircraft, that would be just a fun piece of information to find out. I see AFSL or SIA 099, still our tactical air command. Look at this baby here. Look at this thruster. Obviously the tail hook there. Don't want to stand behind them. First we in the engine said, okay, bird flew out. There you go, you can see the number a little bit better here. AF61099 HI on the tail. Hotel India. And again on the gear door as well, zero niner niner. Yeah. Cannot make out the name up there. Uh, it's like a major general. Try to pull it a little bit closer to it. No, you can't see it. Uh-uh. Get as close as I can to it right here. We'll see. I have to ask Hank, you might know. Anyway, let's go back on. 725 Navy. Tango Alpha for Julia 153678. And tail number there. fuel tank. Obviously had some place to go. This one, the name on this jet is overexposed. Foxtrot Uniform 390. See that number right there? And 
this one we can almost read it looks like Major Ralph Clarper I believe on the name on this one that we want to do is get to get as many people as involved as possible so if you know of any pilots or mechanics that worked in these planes people that were in these wars uh just urge them to come to the channel and leave a message maybe we can get in contact with them we want to start a dialogue and for those of us who are history funds especially um, aviation history buffs we'd love to get together with these people and hear their fun stories and highlight them 
and uh, but like I said uh, they're hoping to open in June and if they are we'll be back until then we want to hang um, <laughs> thank Hank the curator for letting us in they are closed but we're very very grateful um, so until then guys I, I hope you enjoyed this video be safe stay safe and uh, we'll see you in June until then aim high always aim high the sky's the limit bye bye guys till next time <laughs>